H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the videos of Java. In this particular session, we are going to define and speak about functions with different return types. Now, until now, what we have seen is we have created functions which are public, having static as the keyword, followed by the void return type. So, in this particular uh, presentation, we are going to see how do we create functions with different return types and how does it affect the uh, result in the console and how, how does it affect the coding behavior. So let us see some practical examples of function with different return types. For that I have the Eclipse opened so I will open up Eclipse and I will create a new session called as session number 18 that is the new project actually speaking. Click on next give the name as session 18 and click on the next button finish and say no to the perspective in this particular project called session 18 i'm going to create a package inside the source folder so right click on the source folder go to new and select the package option so this package will be called as function with uh, different return types so i'm going to create the class file with the same name so depict what i'm trying to do so i'll copy it and click on finish and inside this particular package i'm going to create the same name based class file so i'm just going to paste the same name out here and choose the main option or the main method rather so that i can get the result in the console of eclipse don't worry about big class file names this is just for depiction that what is this class file all about now we're going to create functions right now so functions can be created uh, outside of other functions functions cannot be dependent on, on each other it has to be independent so i'll create a function called let's say as public static i will stick to this particular format that i will create a public function which should be static to nature what i am going to play around is the return types right now now we have different return types we have a void return type the meaning of void return type means that it will not return anything so that means it's a empty return type so it's comparable to an empty container so if an empty container is there i can put anything inside it and that is the reason main is having a void return type because I can create results from this main method or other get results from this main method in integer format and in double format or in float format, a long format, a boolean or character format because it is a void return type. And the second thing is that since it's a void return type, we don't have to use the return statement. That means we don't have to return, uh, use the return statement to return a specific data type. Okay. Now let's say I create a function out here the same uh, example i'm going to take that i'm going to create a function let's say an addition function again which should have an integer return type and i'll call this as addition and this is the parenthesis which is followed by the function and this is the function body now if you look out here the moment i give uh, absolutely uh, non void return type non void return type precisely means integer or double or float or long or boolean or character so if you put these kind of return types which i just spoke now okay we are going to have this syntax error it says if you hover your mouse over the syntax error it will give you a message that this method must return a result of type integer that means it is trying to say that that this method should return a value which should be of integer type or other should return a value which should have integer data type rather so that is why there is a syntax error with the cross sign with this message and you see there is a red underline in this addition function if you hover your mouse it will give you options to actually remove the 
red underline which is nothing but a error so you can add a return statement like this then your red underline will go or other option given is that you can change return type to void the moment you change the return type to void your red underline goes because void return type can return any data type value any data type value precisely means that integer or float or double etc so let me change it back to integer return type the moment i do that it requires a return statement if you hover your mouse over this red underline add the return statement but this return statement should be at the last what are we trying to return that is what is important so we have to return a value should be should be of integer return type because we have used integer return type as a return type for this addition function now i can create a parameter based function or a non parameter based function that depends about the requirement of the project and what do we wish to do then let's say i create a non parameter based return uh, addition function so i can basically do what i can initialize a variable a whose value is equal to 10 and initialize a variable b whose value is equal to 20 and then put this value in the variable c that is the added value to a variable c out here now what are we turning we are trying to return are we are trying to return the final value of the variable c okay so i will have to use a sysout statement so that i get get the result in the console of eclipse the value of the non parameter based addition function is concatenate this with the variable c out here okay so what i am trying to actually return i am trying to return a final value which should be of integer data type now if you look at this particular variable c the variable c is of integer data type so i can basically return a value which should be of integer return type so i can put the variable c out here instead of zero so what will this c return c will return a value which should be of integer return type and that is why i have defined this c as a integer return type variable okay now if i want to get the result of this addition function i have to call this addition function inside the main method so control space bar addition function and i'll get the value put a terminator sign so that the compiler understand this is the end of the code and the moment i do that and save my class file and run it i will get the value of the non parameter based addition function as 30 and this is a constant value that will come because this is a non parameter based function so if i call this function again control space bar and again i call the addition function it is going to return me the value of 30 and that is precisely because i am not give, given the terminator that is why the syntax error came now i will save the class file and run it so you will see the constant value of 30 is coming so that happens because this is a non parameter based function now let's create another addition function okay now we have seen that we can have overloading functions so this is not a overloading function because the parameter type is same this is a non argument based uh, function this is also a non argument based function that is why it is not getting accepted by the compiler and you are seeing a syntax error duplicate method addition in type function with different return types so i will create right now a parameter based function out here so i'll define the parameters that is integer a comma integer b and since i have defined the variables a and b inside the inside as a parameters of the addition function that is why this is showing you a syntax error so it's stating that it's a duplicate local variable so what i can do is i can just remove this particular part and put the value of a and b in the variable called c now let's say i print out this particular value and i return the variable c because of the fact that it is a integer return type addition function 
So for an integer return type addition function, the final value should be of integer type. And that is what I have called the variable C because this is the final value. Okay. Which is nothing but the addition of this A and B. And this final value is of integer data type. So that is why I have called return C out here. Now, what I am going to do is that I am going to change the return C. So I am not going to return C. Return C is nothing but I am actually returning the value, the added value of A and B to a variable C, which is of integer data type. And that is what is needed for a integer return type function. Okay. Let's say I return zero instead of return C. What is going to happen? If I call this particular function, this is the overloading function now. Okay. I pass on the values, let's say 10 and 20. So what is it is, what is it going to return? Let us see that. So I will save the class file and run it. It is going to return same 30. Now why it is going to return 30 again? Because the values that I have passed is 10 and 20. So to differentiate matters, I will ch change the parameter value that I am passing. So it will be changed to 40 and I save the class file and run it. And the value should be 50 right now. Now why it is returning 50? Because I have called the function inside the main method first. And when it when the compiler encounters this particular code in line number nine, it directly goes to this particular function and passes on the va parameter value inside the variables, which are nothing but parameters of the addition function that is 10 and 40, adds those up, put it to a variable C, and then prints out that particular value. And that is why we get the result in the console. But the matter to be understood out here is that uh, what I am returning? Am I returning C? I am not returning C out here. I am returning 0. And still it is showing me the value of 50 for this particular function. Why? But if you understand the logic, 0 is a integer data type. And if you are using an integer return type out here for the addition function, the return statement has to be used as we have discussed earlier. And it should return a integer data type value. And zero is considered as a return integer data type value. Okay. Now instead of zero, if I put one and save this class file and run it, what is the result showing? Still, it is showing 50. Because the only requirement is that it should return a value which should be of integer type. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever it is, it is of integer type. That is why the compiler is not showing you any kind of problem. Now, logically, strictly speaking, we cannot give return as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 as we wish. And that is why we have to depict it logically in the sense that since we are using variables out here, so we return a variable C, which can be returning a data which is of integer data types. So that is why instead of writing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, we depict it with a variable C that is being used inside the body of the addition function. I can also return A. It doesn't matter. I cannot return Q, for example. Q is not a variable that is defined inside the body. Neither there is Q inside the parameters of the function, neither it is defined inside the body of this particular function. So this will show you a syntax error and the syntax error will be key cannot be resolved to a variable. Have you defined the variable type or the data type for the variable Q? No. So it is showing you a syntax error. But I can use A and it is accepting, the compiler is accepting because the variable A has been defined. What is the type of variable it is? So if I still run the class file, I'll get the value out here. There's no problem in that. And if I change the value, the values that I'm passing, for, that is nothing but the parameters value, let's say I change it to 20, the result will be shown as 60. Okay. I can also pass on B. That doesn't matter. Okay. But yes, 
logically what is happening the final value is nothing but the added value and for that i am taking a print l, uh, that i am giving the print ln command so logically it is to be seen that what are we trying to return we are trying to return the final value and the final value is nothing but the added value of a and b which is put to a variable c and that is why we write down return c out here okay and we run it we will not have any problems the variable value will be 60 still these are small small stuff we need, which we need to understand i can again call the addition function that is the overloading of addition function out here and i can pass on the values of 100 and 200 and this is 2000 for example and put a terminator sign and i will get the value in the console of eclipse it is 2100 that's perfect then similarly uh, for example I will create one more function public static uh, let's say double function a double return type and I will call this as subtraction function with parameters being passed uh, let me pass on two parameters that is integer a and let's say double b okay and since it's a double return type i have to use the return statement as we have discussed earlier now first of all i will have to take into consideration that we when we subtract integer from a double the 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 subtracted value will be in double format because double has the highest here has a higher hierarchy than integer so if we subtract or add or multiply or divide double with an integer the resultant value will be in double format because the hierarchy of double is more than the hierarchy of integer data type so when i subtract a minus b make it sure that we put the resultant value to a variable which should be of double format so let's say it is c out here now the compiler is accepting this because if we actually subtract integer minus double or double minus integer whatever it is the resultant value will be double because double has the high, higher hierarchy than integer so if we put it to double now it is accepting now in any case if we use integer c this is going to show you a syntax error and the syntax error is coming that uh, because the resultant value of a minus b is double how can you put a double format to a variable c which you have defined as integer format and you can see that by hovering a mouse over the type mismatch cannot convert from double to integer variable and that is why i had put double as the data type for the variable c which has the value which is the subtracted value from a or from of a minus b now this red underline is coming because of the fact that we have not used the return statement 